back. All right. I'm going to put together uh, my electoral college prediction. Now, the last time I did this, I I had it. You were so stupid. You what? You just gave him Colorado and and why? Why even bother giving him Colorado? Why? That's what I'm going to change. I'm going to, I'm going to give. I'm going to moving <laughs> Colorado to Rob. All right. That's what a liberal wrote. By a the way. liberal blog. Yeah. I forget who it was, but that's what they wrote, not knowing it was a joke. Yeah. But this, this is, is the real, first time. Right? This is the first time. Do yeah. a real one. No, this is the first time I've done this for real. Um, and tell me what I I miss here. We're gonna, starting at 237, Obama 206 for Romney. Yeah, you can see it up on the board here if you're watching the Blaze TV. All right, so let me, um, let's me let take Wisconsin, and I'm going to give that to Obama. And I'm giving, I'm giving a few of these things because of corruption. Wisconsin is going to be tight as it is, but it's mm-hmm. also a stronghold. And where they've ever Big really Union con- state. Wherever they've controlled it for a long, long time, the corruption is going to be outrageous. Um, Nevada. For the same reason, because remember the, you know how the unions organize, get all the votes of the mm-hmm. uh, the casinos, and yeah. what could Big what SEIU. could possibly go wrong with SEIU and casinos in Vegas? Mm-hmm. Um, Florida, I'm giving to Romney. Uh, Virginia, I'm going to give to Romney. Mm-hmm. Colorado, I'm going to give to Romney, and Colorado, <laughs> and Colorado. We count that as three. No, no. Uh, Iowa, I'm going to give to Romney. Yeah, you gotta, you got to. It's going Wait, that way. But you have to. Oh, you just have to. Yeah, it's okay. state. Well, law. it's it's forty eight federal 48. law. It's federal mo- law now. No, but it's forty eight forty eight. It's it's moving in his direction. Oh, absolutely. I'm giving, what I'm looking at is not just not just what the polls say, but what I think <laughs> the polls will say by the end because of. Right. Because the momentum. momentum. It's all now, momentum. So at this point, with what you've done so far, it's 263 Romney, 253 Obama. And only two states remain. I'm yeah. going to give New Hampshire, it has in the polls now, Romney up to, I'm going to give that to Romney. Okay. That puts him at 267. He needs three electoral votes to win. So- and all you have left is Ohio. Yep. Now here's my concern. Wow. And so who, at this here's- juncture, if this really happens election night, Whoever wins Ohio is the next president of the United States. That's isn't that? I mean, it's chilling to think of it this way. Who is? Um, let's see here. Uh, could I take? Didn't you say it was tied? Or um, is that right? Yeah, in it's the tied in Ohio. It's tied in Ohio. Now Ohio, uh, there are four dead there, and those <laughs> don't know who they're. They know. Here's the thing. Those would have all gone to Obama. Here's we know that, so they're gone. They're, you can't count them. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm That's concerned. Good analysis, I'm concerned about Ohio. Mm-hmm. If the Christians don't come out and vote, if the Christians don't come out and vote, there were three hundred thousand evangelicals they? in. Well, they didn't last time. Three hundred thousand evangelicals in Ohio on, alone. Mm-hmm. Obama only won Ohio last time by two hundred and sixty thousand votes. Three hundred thousand evangelicals yeah. stayed at home. I, I'm saying they're coming out. I think they are too. Now, there is one other thing that goes against Romney, and that is this is corruption central. This is becoming in Cleveland. Ohio, really? In Cleveland? Mm-hmm. You bet. It's becoming, it's becoming corruption central. Remember the, remember the calls uh, uh, in Ohio last time? If there's, any way that they can, if there's any way that they can steal it, they will. But I'm going to give Ohio... To Romney, mm, all right, uh, and that puts now, I must say that puts him over the top at two eighty five yeah. to two fifty three. He could lose. He, Love that. He, he could lose. Um, Give him Nevada. Let him have Nevada, and then you know we'll now, call it a you day. You know he could lose. What is the one uh, Stu that I didn't put in there last time? Uh, was it Colorado? No, you gave him Col- oh, maybe, maybe uh, Iowa. Was it? Oh, yeah, maybe Iowa. Take Iowa out. Move it over to Romney. Yeah, Romney has a little wiggle room in your scenario. To... Although I will say it is not your uh, landslide scenario you've been talking about. It's not even. I mean, it's a very close election. You give him back Iowa, that makes it two seventy nine, two fifty nine, considerably closer, and maybe you know. Take rioting. New Hampshire out. What happens if you take New Hampshire? You're out? You're still fine. Oh, geez. There you go. You're still but fine. You're getting close. Two seventy five, two sixty three. Now, yeah, Th- this is very possible. That would be I mean, bad. the Electoral College could be very, very possible. The uh, issue here, though, is if you remove Ohio, I mean, even if you keep those other two states you just moved, Obama wins, and it's very difficult. I mean, Unless just, Romney pulls an upset somewhere else, like, like Wisconsin, Wisconsin so Michigan. A bigger state, yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania. He could do Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, yeah. Pennsylvania the, the, all the trends are going for the Senate are going to the Republican. The trends are all moving to the Republican. Mm-hmm. 
And that could make a difference. I mean, it just depends on, you know, who, again, it depends on who's coming out. Now, the, the, the scary thing on Ohio is all of the uh, early voting, it's all going to... Yeah, it's leading hard towards Romney. Hard. No, no, no. I mean, excuse me, Obama. Yeah. Obama. Uh, and the issue of is those lo- votes are locked in. Some of the polling, however, is reflecting this in a weird way. Basically, when uh, these pollsters call people in Ohio who, who could early vote and they say, uh, did you vote yet? Mm. And they say yes. They pass them automatically through all their likely voter screens because, OK, they say they've already voted. So they automatically count in our likely voter polls. But what happens is they're finding that far more people are saying that they voted than have actually voted. And it's get, you're getting an overrepresentation of people saying they already voted, giving more points to Obama. Why so, would you say you've already voted if you haven't? Um, people lie. People. They're just following the example of the president. Yes. Then. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Presidential leadership. Yes. Um, here's, you want one crazy scenario here, Glenn? Yeah. Because you just painted the scenario where. The entire election comes down to who wins Ohio, right? Mm-hmm. We all know that Ohio is probably going to be very close. It was in 2004, and it's one of the most you know closest, uh, closely projected states. Listen to this scenario. More than 800,000 people so far have asked for absentee ballots but have not completed them. 800,000. If someone gets an absentee ballot, ballot in the mail and then says, you know what, I'm not going to vote that way. I'm just going to go to the polls that day. If they do that, they have to cast a different type of ballot, a provisional ballot. Um, Those provisional ballots, by law, cannot be counted until November 17th. So you might have a situation with hundreds of thousands of votes that can't even be counted until 11 days after the election in Ohio. If this this thing comes down to a close vote... Do you remember how much you hated Florida? (laughs) Do you remember that? Because I do. I got the phone calls from Ohio. You hated Florida during this whole thing. Yes. If you you give us another Florida, I think the rest of the country is going to come up there and kick your ass. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Honestly. Seriously. If we have 11 days before we can even know who won Ohio, and if it's that close... You know there's going to be recounts after that. Okay, tell me what tell me what you think is tell me what you think is unlikely in what I just gave you. Out of this scenario we have right uh-huh. now, yeah, uh, I um, think I think that's all likely. I think it's all possible. Ohio is by far the biggest question mark. Yeah, um, Ohio, Florida. I would say mm-hmm. at this point you can lean Romney a little bit. Colorado has been surprising to me in that you can kind of lean it um, Romney as well. Virginia is a crucial crucial state, which uh, the average of polls now show it exactly tied. Um, uh, not in not in uh, Rasmussen. Rasmussen is one of the polls used in this average. I'm saying the average polls show it exactly tied. Yeah, well, I don't care about the average. I care about the above That's average. That's fine. And but Rasmussen just... has him up by four points. See, like, are you asking me what's unlikely, or do you want me no, to say it's all likely? No, but I just want, don't want you to use faulty data. It's not using faulty data. This is a this is a larger sample size than just Rasmussen. <laughs> I agree, Rasmussen is one of the best, but I do believe there's others as well. Yeah, there Point. is. You know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just using. All I'm doing is I'm going have a I'm, I'm having a bigger plate of eggs. Well, yeah, but some of those eggs are spoiled. Yeah, but it's a bigger plate of eggs. Well, <laughs> I don't think you should use a bigger plate of eggs. Use the best I, eggs. I actually find. like Glenn's reasoning here. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I, that's that very comes sound. as a surprise. The I think other that's very sound. The other poll that tied <laughs> Rasmussen for the best polling was uh, interna- uh, uh, IBD. Uh, the and it's an international. What is it? Uh, Investors Business Daily, which is a very conservative publication. Okay. They have Obama mm-hmm. up by four. Well, they're stupid. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. They're you, stupid. You are choosing the one. Why would, is why a good would they one to be choose. stupid at Investors Business Daily? Why would they do that? They're not. They're doing a poll, and sometimes data it's comes back. It's a stupid poll, and all this is within the margin of error. By the way, yeah, saying uh-huh. what saying these things are ahead is not even really accurate. The yeah. point, though, is that what is the least likely thing? It's Ohio, man. And every if, if parade, you're in Ohio, every parade we bring through town. No, I'm saying he asked me the specifically. Little black rain cloud. He asked Everyone. me specifically what is the least the least likely thing here, wow. and I say Ohio. And by the way, Ohio important not just because of the president. Josh always Mandel harshing our mellow too. man. You're did you always ever, did harshing you, our mellow. Did you did you ever see the? You remember watching with your kids the Winnie the Pooh and the blustery day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember when uh-huh. Piglet became the little black mm-hmm. rain cloud? Mm-hmm. You know, I have a little black you rain cloud. You asked me for this information. Mm-hmm. Right here. You requested that yep. specific piece exactly of information. Right. No, mm-hmm. Stu. No, I don't think I did. Okay. Here we go. Now let me let me do it again. 
California, New York, and Illinois will all be Romney states. Well, there you go. See, that's the least likely thing. Now we're getting something decent out of you. On your board right now, anything? Okay, you already said Ohio could go over, Mm -hmm. Virginia could go over, Colorado could go over, and Florida could go over. Is there anything in the Obama camp that could go over to Romney, Mr. Little Black Ray Cloud? Absolutely, yes. Pennsylvania could. Uh, I I mean, Pennsylvania, it's possible, but I would say more likely Iowa. I would say more likely Nevada. I would say more likely Wisconsin. Michigan, could Wisconsin. Go to the other way. I and New Michigan, Hampshire as well. Could. Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, New Hampshire. There's more in the Obama category, I think, that could come over to Romney than the other way around. I think the, the no, issue. Think that's right. The issue you have here to me, looking at your map, being critical here, mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. the states that are toss ups you have in the Obama category are more like Obama leaning type states, where the Romney ones are straight toss ups. Um, not Florida. I don't think Florida is a straight toss up, but I think Ohio, Virginia, and Colorado. You're giving them a sweep of three toss ups there. Now, you know, I think Wisconsin is a leaning Obama state that Romney can win. I do too. Um, but I, so I think if you remember anything, he I'm loses, just not going to any place. I, I think you remember I gave Romney originally Ohio. I mean Iowa and New Hampshire as well. Right. Yeah, take them back. I, I take out Nevada <laughs> and Wisconsin back. because there are these machines up there. Take them yeah. too. Take them back. You want, all. you want all the move, states. You know what? Take, take Iowa and New yeah. Hampshire, move them over give to Romney. Back. Okay. Yeah, give okay. Back. And then uh, take Michigan and Pennsylvania and move them over and Wisconsin. <laughs> okay. So okay. now you're up to yeah. 300. Let's see and... if this is really a land. Let's... Okay. And then well, I, think you could, I think you could actually make a case this for Nevada happen. and could... New Mexico. It could, could happen. happen. Now, okay. Minnesota, maybe, but not New Mexico. You think New Mexico is just leaning Obama? Yeah. Within four points. Now, now we're at 337 to 201. Leave New Mexico this there. is good. Leave 201 it. to 337. That's good. That's perfect. Now move Illinois, New York, and California. Mm-hmm. Okay. Over to Romney? Over to Romney. Okay. All right. The Washington, York, Oregon, California. Massachusetts, New Jersey. <laughs> this is likely. I mean, Hawaii, I'm going to leave. Likely, but Connecticut, District of Columbia, I'll leave. No, you Mexico, can't even see the Minnesota. circle anymore. It's, it, Go ahead. Take Minnesota, <laughs> Massachusetts, <laughs> Delaware, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, once momentum Maine, starts, you just don't know. These, you don't know. These could all fall. Rhode Island, Romney. Maryland, D.C., go ahead. DC I'm going to give him New Mexico, unlikely, too. but okay. <laughs> for, 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 Vermont, right. mm-hmm. Maine, Maryland, New Mexico, and that other gray dot those that are is two, so small I can't even. Yeah, those are congressional districts in uh, Maine. Why Why do they separate those? Because they, they what is that give about? them out differently. All right. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, see, right. now, no, no, so now you're, you're, at, you're at 525. Take to, out Maine. <laughs> Take out Maine. Give it to me. Okay, now you're at 527 to 11. Uh, Maine District 1, and then... Uh, okay. I'm going to give him... And okay, now he's got New Mexico. 529 to 9. He's got New Mexico and Hawaii. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, give Move <laughs> Hawaii over to Romney. Wait, he, you're saying he's going to lose his home state, Obama? <laughs> this, now, this he's is keeping a unlike, New Mexico. This is a Stu. unlikely scenario. I mean, it's not the but likeliest, because... But, Momentum. Because New momentum Mexico here. is leaning Obama, I'm going <laughs> to you gonna let him I'm have it. Leave him. Because right. right. you don't want to give him a all sweep right. of all the leaning states. That would be <laughs> ridiculous. Would be yeah, stupid. I mean, look, some things could happen. So okay, your final you electoral count, by the way, 533 to 5. To five. I like that. That's, that's good. It would be a very reasonable. good night for It'd America, good night. wouldn't it?